Every year during the month of May, we celebrate Asians and Pacific Islanders for their contributions to American culture. As of 2019, 57% of Asian Americans aged 25 or older have a bachelor's degree or higher. Senior prom tickets are now on sale. Applications are available in Mr. Spellman and Mr. Cavanaugh or Mr. Glasgow's offices. You can also pick up an application in the Student Activities Office, room 280. Free prom dresses and shoes are available in the school store. Please stop by room 105 to see Mrs. Krakalici Caswell in room 280. Do you know what you're doing? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Okay, well, be careful. All right. See? Everything's perfect. Um, um, yeah, that, that's supposed to happen. Yeah. My job here is done. I said be careful. I got a new superpower. What are they? Super speed, try to hit me. See? Wow, you're super elusive. Upcoming events. May 18, 2022 from 2.20 to 3.20, the Chemistry Club meeting at NFA Maine will take place in room 268. On May 18, 2022, at 6 p.m., the induction ceremony for the New York um, State Science Honor Society in the NFA Main Auditorium. And June 6, 2022, at 6 p.m., the induction ceremony for the Spanish and Italian Honor Society in the NFA Main Auditorium. May 13th will be the last Friday for Cosmetology Clinic. If you'd like extra help in Spanish, please consider signing up for the Empire program. Ms. Pimentel is tutoring all levels on Tuesdays and Thursdays in room 145 from 220 to 350. Interested in getting after school help with your schoolwork? Stay after with Mrs. O'Neill in the library every Tuesday through May 24th. You will need to provide your own transportation home. The health office will begin scoliosis screenings in May 2022 for the ninth grade boys. Attendance Incentive for Cohort 2018 Cohort 2018 is excited to announce a monthly attendance incentive contest for the remainder of the school year. Students with the best attendance and the most improved attendance will be entered into a drawing for gift cards and other prizes. Ten winners will be announced on GBTV. Attention Cohort 2021 Check out the Cohort 2021 Counselor Corner Google Classroom for academic assistance and extra help. Join today to receive the latest news and updates to help you finish strong this school year. The Colony of Fine Arts and Literary Magazine is looking for student artwork, photography, and all forms of writing for this year's publication. Students can submit their work using the Colony of Submissions link on Launchpad. If you have questions, please see Mr. Waltz in room 143 or Mrs. McCurdy in room 273. And have a great day, NFA. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Michaela. Did you know you can't wear hats and hoods in school? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's been a while for a while. I didn't know that. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, hey, Mikey. Hey, Michaela. Did you know you can't wear hats and hoods? <laughs> hey, Mikey. Hey, Michaela. Did you know you can't wear hats? <laughs>
fitting the rear section of the body to the car right now. We're almost ready to go for inspection as where last year we were like struggling just to get to inspection. Diesel's had significant changes done to it this year, like the body's been revamped and there's been a few technical stuff um, done to it, but it is overall a lot better than last year. By far, this is much, it's much smoother. Every student is involved working on the car. As you can see, everybody has their own job and uh, the car is really coming along much better this year compared to the prior years. We we're trying to get the back end to fit on the front end. We, uh, we cut the bottom so it's level. We had to chop this up here. And now we're gonna try to clamp it all together and just piece it in. Battery electric, all the, uh, the essential components in the back have been reworked and um, straightened out so it's uh, more efficient. This is our battery electric car. This year we fixed all of our braking problems. Last year we had huge braking problems. And um, so we're gonna be able to brake a lot better. We have a new battery box to hold our battery. This is gonna come off the hook that we placed in here. It's gonna come down, and so when the driver puts down the brake, this back part's gonna come over here and lock in place. We had to follow out the back to make sure that it would stay still. And so like if you push the car up, it won't move at all. So this is like an average parking brake you'll have in a car. I mean, I'm gonna come continue to be doing this until my senior year. After high school, I'm gonna probably become a mechanic. So I'm gonna start with this, get to know about cars. Next year, I plan to uh, go into the engineering field. I'm still deciding whether mechanical, electrical, or computer engineering. It's fun, energetic, um, a lot of work. It's going excellent. We got the body uh, just about mounted. We're installing the windshields and the side windows. I'm about to put the mirrors on. And uh, we'll probably have it pretty well buttoned up in the next uh, couple hours. We'll be able to take it through tech, which of course is the big deal.
Okay, so right now we finish up the car to what we think we finished up, and we're gonna go through inspection, which is when Shell checks our major aspects of the vehicle. There's over 12 major aspects, and they're gonna make sure we meet all the requirements that are in the Shell Eco Marathon uh, rule book. And if they find something wrong, then we have to go back to the packs and we have to fix it, and then you have to come all the way back through the line and through inspection one more time. We have an accessory battery that powers our lights and our horn, and they want a drill meter to track how much energy that uses, and um, we didn't have one on our car, so we have one now, and he's installing it so they can keep track of the amount of work the battery does during our run. Alright, so uh, we just went to tech inspection, and we didn't even get in, we had to uh, we have to come up with a new kill switch. We needed to make the kill switch inside the car red. We need uh, fire retardant suits and gloves as well. So we have one suit, but I don't know if everybody's gonna fit in it. So we're trying to uh, figure some stuff out now. And we need our schematic drawings for the for the car to even get into inspection. We're working on all that stuff now, and hopefully we're in, in by tomorrow.